thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. It's time for me to get my bag. And I get it. If you don't care about the sponsor section, at least check out the comments for the discount code KAKA to get $5 off your first purchase for either of the boxes. But Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us new boxes to check out. Let's see what they got for us today. All right. For the Tokyo Treat side, we got the orange box with this one. And then on the Sakura Co., it's the mahogany red ish color tokyo treat is a fun and exclusive japanese snack box featuring unique and exclusive flavors from all around japan each box has up to like 20 fun and exclusive japanese snack items and limited edition kit catch unique flavored japanese chips and occasionally japanese sodas that are only available in japan for a limited amount of time each month obviously has a theme and this month's theme is the summer matsuri flavor test a lot of savory flavors that kit kat gold is probably one of my favorites from the box Soccer Co, on the other hand, is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that has also up to 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, but has a little bit of the special tea sets in the tableware you've seen before. This month's theme is the Islands of Okinawa, and the snack highlight includes the sour caramel, the castella cakes, vanilla cream, the sweet potato chimsko, and many more. And this right over here, in the packaging that you're about to see, the monthly tableware item is the Kingyo. Mino water plate. Look at that. Flip. Turn. Ooh, Mino. Here, I applaud you with all I got, but technically you might have wasted your time. Why? Because I don't really make money off of you watching the sponsor section of this video. I make the money by you using the affiliate code to buy the product. And I get it. If you don't have a personal interest in this product, no one really likes getting pushed sponsored content in their face. However, I think these boxes could make great gifts for friends and family that wants to experience Japan at the comfort of their own home. And listen, trying to do content creation full time, it's pretty hard. But sponsorships like this along the way definitely does help. And you don't have to use the affiliate code. But if you're generous enough and you'd like to support me trying to do this full time, I would truly appreciate it if you would use the pinned comment affiliate code KAKA for five dollars off the first purchase now on to the anime reaction the final girl has shown up from the openings and it is indeed the maid that we saw in yuki flashback when she had asthma and there was like the whole divorce going on i know kudere could she be the girl on top of the fucking playgrounds no i think it's still gonna be masha but you know new character being shown up does she understand russian probably she does what kind of character is she going to be? Is she going to be the stereotypical Kudere emotionless maid? Can she compete for best girl? That's going to be pretty hard. Let's begin today's reaction. Masachika-sama. Oh? Sama. Behind! Masachika-sama. What? Hello? Already amazing. Already amazing. The whispering ASMR voice with ninja-like. <laughs> I don't know, movements. Masachika-sama. What? She just stand there. Ninja? So she is supposed to be a ninja. A storm arrives. She's the storm? Yes, running mates. Yes, <laughs> master has expressed his displeasure. Oh, I thought that I thought the master here was Yuki. But no, this is father. Master has expressed his displeasure with this turn of events. So dad? Hmm. Damn. I have no son. Okay. You will not be able to call yourself Yuki's brother. I mean, is that basically why we have this separate relationship? Basically secret, right? We're not telling other people that we're like family. We're just like, you know, no. at school, nobody talks like that. So like, yes, he kind of does look like the KFC guy, but basically it's due to him. That's why the relationship's like that. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> The rest. What, 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 what do you what do you mean threats? Assess any and all threats to her. So like, does she have kunai? Is, does she have fucking throwing knives? 
Is she, is she a ninja? Is she gonna fucking assassinate the threats? Uh -oh. oh shit, we were being interrogated. Also, she will most likely be Yuki's running mate at this rate. There's no other better candidate. Maybe Masha, that'd be kind of fun, but I think that this Ayano girl will be Yuki's running mate. Betray? Hurt? We already we already helped her out of middle school. What? Just because we help help Ali doesn't mean we're like fighting against Yuki. It's just competition. It's it's not that serious. Ah. Also, when he says Gramps, that's just a insult to dad, right? It's not actually grandfather. Was Colonel Sanders back then grandfather or father? It's grandpa. Okay, my bad. It's not dad, it's grandpa. Grandpa is the menace. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Grandfather is the And we don't know who grandma is either, right? Got it, got it, got it, got it. So it's grandfather that's the fucking menace. Our mom loves tea. And this Japanese. And might have cheated. <laughs> Remember the theory? Which is 100%... 99.999999% not gonna happen. But remember the theory? <laughs> if the mom cheating and that's when a divorce happened. Probably never happened. But remember that? Okay. Damn. Yo, Gramps might have to show up. Yeah, we love her as a sister. The most important. Whoa. Whoa. The most important person. Yo, don't let Ali hear that. This is like a fact he just stated. The most. Not one of the most. The most. Alia stands fucking fuming and seething right now. Alright. I don't really know any other quirks of Aino just so far. Her personality seems very mild, right? There was a bit of like the Kunoichi ninja movement in the beginning and scaring him, but other than that, don't really know her uh, personality. She just seems just cool to the standard so far. Really top right? Wait! Bottom left looks like Yuki! Bottom left, this is literally Yuki here! No, she doesn't. It's a rumor. In episode one, it was a rumor, right? And the boyfriend, I think, it's probably a rumor because Masha probably said she loves somebody, which is the f which is him, you know? Like, you are literally that imaginary boyfriend that people think exists. You probably did a long time ago. Oh, hello! Animal! It's hard to like, like Alia when she keeps doing shit like this, you know? Like, it is so hard. Like, Whenever Yuki shows up, whenever Masha, whenever any other girl does something, it's so affectionate. But because it's Alia and what she is, it's just, again, she's, she sucks in the early game. It's all, she's a late game hyper carry, right? And Yuki is, she pops off in the early game, but it's just the nature of a fucking tsundere in the beginning, right? That's, that's the thing that's setting her back. 
じゃああれだスオさんとは付き合いたいとかジーズスとにかく付き合うとしたらもっと友達感覚で付き合える感じ I mean based on how you interact with Yuki That is more best friends than Alia. Like, you have so much in common with Yuki, you're pretty much best friends with her. Yuki and the Kuzei? No. Oh. They all have cute smiles. <laughs> Where did the snow come from? Who the fuck opened the windows? Because <laughs> she does not. Because she's kind of. Because she's not sweet, right? Masha is sweet. Right? Masha is sweet? This is Ice Princess here. You know, she's cold as fuck. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think The CGI snow is falling off of her, man. Name one friend. Alright, let's go laser up. Oh yeah, dog. Let's go. <laughs> wait, what did he say? Wait, wait, wait. What did he fucking say? Hold up. But hey, that stuff doesn't matter when we're talking about a girl as pretty as Alia. I mean, we don't want to directly confirm that shit. Yeah. The no is lie. I mean. Oh. <sighs> What's she gonna do? Look at the magazine and like look at the girl that Kuze liked and try to be like her? Like what? Ayano and Masha. Ayano and Yuki! I idolized. You idolize him? Because Yuki is still the most important person. Because of the way that Masasuka said, like, she's the most important person still. That's probably why. お兄ちゃんはなんて。まさちかさまは苦情様と立候補されるということ。それと文句があるなら直接自分に言いに来い。とグランプス。ご同志様に。お兄ちゃんも。でも、ファイティングワールド。はい。素晴らしい気迫に
思わず校舎のど真ん中でお兄ちゃんへの愛を叫ぶところだったぜお兄ちゃん様ね yeah, he tugging, all、right. にしてもいいねアリアさんだけじゃ相手にならなかったし Yeah, honestly, Ali has a fucking fraud, bro. I want Yuki to win. Like, I don't want Ali to win. She low key just fucking annoying. <laughs> She's just annoying and angry all the time and fucking pissed off, and Masatsuka deserves better. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Yuki. <laughs> Yuki Aino! Let's fucking go! You saw Stadio this time. Could you tell me what you said? After Sue's run. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. As for Kujo sama Ali, I had to be blunt. But she's being dumb because she transferred into our middle school after Sue's reign, as in, like, you know, when she just was. She basically did like a three peat or some shit, right? I forget exactly what the accomplishment exactly was, but she was. You know,、uh, student council press, and she won all those fucking debates, and that's what Sue's reign is. We'll、so, like. When you say the greatest talent the Sue family has ever produced, this almost sounds like White Room shit, you know? Like, Masatsuka is like the perfect human, and they've done like secret fucking experimentations back home in their family with specific breeding. Like, what? Something else is going on here. She's a fucking big bro, man. You freaky, I know. I love you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This whole sequence, it felt like a demon lord and like a demon lord's like assistant, like talking the entire time, right? Like, Ida showed up. She's looking out the fucking window. It's like a dark room. She just needs a fucking glass. She, she just needs like a champagne glass and for like lightning to strike outside. This did look like that, yes. And we're not done yet. Still Yuki. Raise this. Betting with snacks? It's a lot of kick ass. Ninja skills. Alia is very easy to read. She never hides her feelings. Everything is just shown on her face, right? No poker face. <laughs> well, she did. Alia, you gotta hide that. Yes, Masha is very mysterious, right? Masha feels like Ichinose to a degree, where it's just like complete positive vibes, happy, happy, but like. What is going on underneath? I'm sure they're not the same character, right? But I'm just saying, like, she has that, like, positivity, leadership vibes, but, at, you know, behind it, there's something else going on. <laughs> She's probably thinking that my little sister is so fucking stupid that I gotta put on this poker face and help her out right now. Nah, she probably wouldn't say that. Nah, she's too nice. She is genuinely too nice and innocent. That's what I would be saying if I was her, because I'm a mean guy. <laughs> Yeah, she's unique. ああ。お飲み物はいかがですかはい。いや、俺はいい。まだあるし。さようでございますか。どうなのかシーアクーグレ。祖父母からならったものです。おお。はい、あの祖父母は。じゃあご両親も。いえ、私の両親は会社員です
I don't know, respects and like idolizes Masatsuka. So it's because of Masatsuka rather than Yuki. Maybe a little bit of both, but more Masatsuka than Yuki. Masachi. Masashiku. Nightly idolization. Whoa, KI. Just being you. Just that's why she got named the footwork. <laughs> Aww. It's so cute. A child getting beat as she learns <laughs> how to be a ninja. Maria. <laughs> Yuki versus Ali. Is she? <laughs> hmm. Is she? What? You're the hero today. She just break the fucking fourth wall? It's just telling you, yeah, this is your episode. Don't worry, I'm gone. Okay. Okay. Gotcha, she's not breaking the fourth wall. Look at this, bro. She was fucking strategizing the entire time. She was ready for this, bro. She was waiting for the Fanta to fucking run out, bro. Masha always cooking. She always scheming behind those smiling eyes. Do you think that she did that intentionally, or is that just her being a ditz? Do you think that this is all just an act to look cute? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, so nay indeed. That memorization skills, bro. Wow. Truly the product of the white room. He memorized everything in there, dude. Perfect human Masachka. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. He's been helping out. So that Masatsuka can do it instead. Right? So wait, wait, wait. Masha is intentionally... Not being reliable and responsible, quote unquote, so that she doesn't rely on Masha, but rather relies on Masa. That's that's what we're going at right now. I don't want to compete with her. We know that. Oh, I haven't had this guy fucking type in a bit. You're gonna get timed out for 12 hours because I fucking hate retards coming in here just saying just keep watching, motherfucker. You can just watch the video yourself. I'm here to fucking pause and talk about things and try to break it down and try to guess what's gonna happen. The most stupidest thing you can possibly say is two things. Pre-watched. If you say pre-watched, this is what you're doing. You're telling me, you're self-reporting to everyone that you have such low intelligence that you were not able to follow with the logic to get to the conclusion I made. And then, not only are you self-reporting how stupid you are, you are then indirectly spoiling the show because, because pre-watch implies that what I just said is accurate. So two stupid... <laughs> see, see how it happens? Like, you just like did the dumbest shit possible while spoiling. And then the next is saying, just stop, just play the video. Motherfucker! Just, what's the point? Like, you want me to just play the fucking video? Alright. Here, I'll play the video for you.
Now, I had to go to the bathroom there, so that was like a nice little thing we just did. But like, it is like beyond my comprehensions when monkeys show up and get mad that I pause and talk about the fucking show. It's like, what are you here for? Do you want a guy to fucking react? Or do you want a guy to sit here and literally just say, wow, amazing, crazy. Just like the dumbest fucking retards, man. あれ Backstory? <laughs> Worst sister, bro. Worst character ever. He's, he, look what Masha just did. And... I'm not even like memeing anymore. Right? I. Alien, the, the, the more we watch this show, the more we realize, like, this girl fucking sucks, dude. Dial turn to 11. So it's kind of an act. Dial だからこそ、お互いを意識せずにはいてくれる。We only get away with not feeling in fear to Yuki. But like I thought that she's never ever beaten him in anything. I thought that he was the superior one and if anything Yuki should be the one feeling inferior. But I guess in terms of actual achievement, Yuki does look better on paper because she went for like, for example, student present stuff. And now we're justifying and rationalizing why <laughs> the degenerate fan service, the Winces should exist because this is the way that he gets away with not being inferior. Now, I don't know if that really makes sense, right? Cause like now he's, the author is like, listen, the Winces shit, yes, it's fun and it's fan service, but there's an actual reason as to why it exists, and it's for the complex sibling dynamics and for him to not feel inferior to her, okay? Is it a character? It could be a coping mechanism. Because, like, she clearly loves him. Like, what if the incest fan service is, like, a coping mechanism of her realizing that she can never be his lover, but at the very least, I can try to, I don't know, have some fun with this Winces fan service. Yeah, I, I mean, she is an otaku though. Wow. Yep, worst yeah, Masatsuka, low key, you know, smurfing too, right? Yeah, I did that at work. Never show your true power levels, guys. The only thing that'll happen when you show your true power levels is you get more work. People realize how competent you are. Never be number one. Never strive to be number one. Be number two or three. Be like just ahead of the pack, but you don't want to look bad. You want to just like slightly above average so that you can get away with doing a little to no work without showing your full potential and not getting fucked over. There was a guy at work that just like, his, he was like an actual fucking Protoss zealot, like my life for ire. And like, he got paid less than me, but he would do my work too. Because I just knew how to talk better and make it sound like I'm busy, but he would just show how 
competent and how productive and then what does management do just give them more fucking work and and he is just stuck getting more shit and it's just like it's all fucked up you never get rewarded based on how hard you work in those kind of jobs you know head pat again masha head pat oh my god yo she missing the hot tea in my back right now Give her a head pat and call her a good girl instead. Because she is the girl from the playground in the past. The girl that you learned Russian to go talk to. It's gotta be her, man. Hmm? Oh, the other girl. The other girl. Uh, I forgot her name, but she's the one that lost in the middle school runs, right? Is she here to fight? Shameless? Why? Why is Masatsuka shameless? Unless that you, we both know that he is like the actual product of the white room and it would be hacks to get carried by Masatsuka. Then it would be classless or shameless. But like, why? What do you know? Stole? The fuck? <laughs> if anything, I thought that she would be like anti Suo because she won instead of her in that flashback where she was crying. But maybe she deeply respects Suo as... Like a rival. And now it looks like Sue is getting a rug pulled underneath and Taniyama can no longer have a fair duel against Suo. Is that the angle that she's coming at? Oh shit, bro. Everyone's watching. Yo, the girls are all watching. Yeah. You picked that slacker to spite Su How does that make sense? How does that make any sense? Like... She is now under the assumptions that, like, Su like Masatsuka is a slacker. It's not like she, she knows that he's a fucking product of the white room. So we picked a weak candidate to help, but somehow that's bad. It's out of spite of Suo. <laughs> what a shameless about picking a slacker brother. What is the logic here? <laughs> Megana tilts. What does it matter to you? Like, none of this is your business. Yuki is my sister. Why are you speaking on behalf of her? And your logic in why picking me is shameless. Like, none of this shit makes sense. What? What? Wait, so you're the one in wrong? We're being gaslit to infinity, but I can't even understand the gaslighting. Why are we the one in wrong here? <laughs> the fuck do you want? All right. That's a debate, right? It's a duel, bro. Someone like you have no place because like he's a slacker, right? Try to understand it from her perspective, and she thinks that he's a slacker. She doesn't know he's a prodigy. And that's why he has no place in the presidential election. But despite recognizing that, Alia picking this slacker who has no place in the presidential election and somehow is stealing that from Sue, and it's shameless. It is shameless that we're picking a slacker because Yuki should have picked a slacker? Because it's... Is she, like, literally fighting on behalf of Yuki? And thinking that the sister and brother should run together. And that's... I, I, I just don't understand her logic based off the things that she said this episode. Ignore it. Oh, <laughs> Is this based or not? Because there's a lot of Alia haters in chat. Some people are spamming Giga to Giga chat. Some people are hating. But the people that genuinely hate Alia probably think that this is based, right? Because, like, she's not wrong. Like, this is fucked. She sucks. Taniyama sucks. Taniyama sucks. I love Alia more than Taniyama. But we can still recognize <laughs> that what she's saying. <laughs>
<笑> oh, this is getting heated. This is getting spicy. Hanashi was smelling the Morai Kashira. Say, Sekishka Tori and I, you got a Kaicho Koho, she was not there. Anataka, Unaji Kaicho Koho to stay, Kuzeku or Tauso to go through me. Kakumino got to go to Motanoni. Eat a Yo, this girl that bawled her eyes out in the flashback because she lost the debate against the Yuki is talking so much shit. Like, and I still don't even know why she's so mad that picking Kusei is classless because he's a slacker, because he belongs to Yuki. Like, what the fuck is going on? I, I just don't know. Maybe this is why she lost the fucking debate, bro. At, at the very least, if you could explain a little bit more, and maybe they're intentionally making it seem stupid. Maybe they're intentionally hiding some clues and details as to why she thinks that this is classist. We'll know later on, right? But for now, with just what the anime has said, I cannot reason as to why this is classist. Why? Like, why? Why? People like you two. Basically, like... There's so much respect for the position of president. She seems to really respect Yuki. And we have a puppet and we have a slacker running against Yuki. Therefore, it's disrespectful and it's classless. I, I guess that makes sense. And that's the episode, man. Today's episode was fun and infuriating. So, I know. I was like, what is this girl going to be all about? She is this Kudere maid and we've seen a lot of Kudere maids. And... I guess it's funny that she went through all of these different trainings. She basically had to master the flash step and the art of being a ninja. So that, you know, uh, a servant, a maid, does not outshine, you know, the, I guess, the person that she is serving. Despite this, and then beyond that, the Yuki and Ayano scenes, I really enjoyed that. It felt like a demon lord and like the demon lord's like fucking right hand man, you know, like fucking scheming and plotting. This is the villains here, bro. Yuki and Ayano, this is this is the team villains. And I'm like rooting for them more than anyone else. I don't say like a shit penetrated me. Like she says some insane shit with just a flat face. And I think that's one of the strongest things that you can do with the Kudere. I think my Kudere obsession started with Origami Tobichi. Master Sergeant Tobichi Origami from Date Alive. Why? Because she is another one of those characters where she's a coup today, but with unhinged degenerate comedy and the contrast between what a calm reserved coup today is and the degenerate comedy is creates that gap moe and why I just find it so appealing. And I know basically saying the unhinged shit is an example of that. Besides that, we get to see a little bit more about what Masha is doing. She's Basically, cranking it up to an 11 when looking like an airhead. She's not actually stupid. She's just doing this shit. So that Alia will never feel lonely. And, you know, that maybe Alia can rely on Masasuka instead of her sister. Which is interesting logic. And then after that, this Taniyama girl. Listen, I was really trying to understand what the fuck she was saying. And none of it was making sense until the very end, maybe. And it seems like it all comes from deep respect for Yuki and the title of... Uh, student uh, council president and because a puppet who is nothing but just for grades and the slacker is running for this prestigious spot she's taking offense to it i think that's what's happening i hate her i hope we make her fucking cry i hope we completely destroy her in this <laughs> epic keyboard warrior debate session as we, you know, enact the duel. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.